Hello guys, welcome back to my channel So I know it's a bit too late but Happy fasting to all of my Muslim friends out there So let's jump right into the video You're gonna need 150 grams of self raising flour 40 grams of plain flour 2 tablespoon of cocoa powder And a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate soda Okay, I'm gonna make sure all of the ingredients are already seated And then you're gonna need 180 grams of butter And 135 grams of brown caster sugar And then you're gonna mix it all up And then add your 2 eggs one by one And blend it all up until the ingredients are all well incorporated Okay, and then you're gonna add your dry ingredients little by little and then mix it all up until the ingredients are all well incorporated and then add your buttermilk. Okay, uh, I know we don't have uh, buttermilk in our local store so you can just do it at home, do it yourself, you know, you just need a cup of milk and then two to three tablespoons of lemon juice then grab a spoon and give it a quick stir and then you can leave it at your room temperature for around 30 minutes and you can see that the texture of the milk became more concentrated you know it's not it's not milky it became more buttery instead of one cup you're gonna use just 125 ml of buttermilk and remember if it's involved with anything that is liquidy you have to add it little by little so that you are not going to ruin your cake butter okay and then you're gonna add your food coloring two tablespoon of food coloring oh i just noticed in the video i use only two teaspoon of food coloring but i guess it turns out okay because i already ate it and it's delicious <laughs> okay and then you're gonna grab your spatula and then give it a quick stir because if you notice in the video it doesn't mix quite well during the mixing process so yeah okay if you follow me on instagram you will know that actually originally i wanted to bake a red velvet cheesecake but then uh, i don't know what i did wrong whether i adjust the pan wrong or something but as you can see in the video the cake butter is dripping from the pan oh my god and then my mom was like why don't you make a cupcake instead because we have cupcake paper cup so yeah and then here we are to make it look more neat i use a piping bag to transfer the cake butter into the cupcake cups and then grab a toothpick and do this kind of swirling motion so that the cupcake rise evenly in the hot oven then you're gonna bake it at 180 degrees celsius for around 35 to 40 minutes with top and bottom heating setting in a preheated oven for cream cheese frosting you're gonna need 240 grams of cream cheese 50 grams of butter 60 grams of icing sugar and then you're gonna mix it all up i always seem out of breath in the video because uh, i have to make sure the videos is short enough for you guys to watch so that you guys are not going to be bored okay for the final touch you're gonna need two to three tablespoon of lemon juice and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and then give it a mix until the ingredients is well incorporated okay next grab your spatula and scoop all of your cheese frosting into a piping bag and there you go your frosting is all ready to be set on top of the cupcake okay for frosting decoration you can either choose to do both or either one of them i did both of them there is the first one i did the swirling motion and then the second one i did the flowers pattern kind of motion <laughs> Oh, don't forget to spare one of your cupcake for decoration. Um, I think I don't need to explain the process because, yeah, like in, in the video, you kind of like crumbles everything down and then use it to top, I mean, to decorate your cupcake. 
And ta-da! Your red velvet cupcake is done! Okay. Oh my god, I'm I'm literally doing watching this video again. Most of my friends know lah that I'm not quite fond of the uh, you know color coloring food or coloring drinks because yeah first they stain your teeth and the second one I don't know it doesn't look that appetizing but this one this red velvet cupcake is an exception you guys you know before this I have this skeptical thinking I don't know this idea of you know red velvet cupcake is not that delicious oh but oh my god but it just blew my mind it's just that delicious you know it doesn't taste quite the same like a chocolate cake but it has that it has that cake of a chocolate cake but I don't know how to explain it but you just you just you guys have to try this I promise you it's the best I don't know it has that a hint of sourness and a hint of chocolate cake and then there's a cheese on top of it oh my god it just it's just so delicious okay i think that's all for today's video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share comments and like this video okay see you in the next video bye bye